Hi. Welcome. Good morning. It's time for coffee with me. I'm Susan B. Lahaki, running for president of the United States as a write-in. In these, these states, Alabama, Iowa, D.C. D.C. is not a state. Um, Oregon, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Vermont, Wyoming, Mississippi, New Hampshire, and Rhode Island. Um, and this is my kitchen, my temporary kitchen. Welcome. So it is Thankful Thursday, and it's August 27th, the day after uh, Women's Equality Day and the official... Uh, adoption of the 19th Amendment, the 100-year uh, anniversary of that, and it's also the day after National Dog Day. So, you know, I've, I normally I just make one video, but I've actually made now four, and I, I keep deleting them. So, because I'm trying to stay honest, you know, I'm trying to make sure that you know what's going on. Um, at first, I was just going to talk about dogs. That was really on my agenda. And then, uh, after yesterday, I was thinking, well, I should probably talk about women in my life. And, um, and now... Oh. oh, there's an extreme alert. A tornado warning in this area until 2.45. Take shelter now. Okay. Never been in a tornado. I'm glad I'm not out walking around. Never saw one of those before. And I didn't know you could get tornadoes in New York State. So, this is all new news for me. Where did that message disappear to? Okay, anyway, uh, it'll be a very interesting video if the tornado does come, but I don't, I don't think there's a lot going on. You want to, here, why don't we come and look outside quickly and see if there's some sort of windiness or anything. You see anything? No, it's a little windy. Okay, they might be right. But I'm on a ground floor of a large building, so I think I should be fine. Okay. So, um, let's get back to that. Then I was thinking, well, you know, maybe I should talk more about the women and the 19th Amendment. But... I don't really know all the history of it, so I don't want to go into things that I, I don't know much about. What I can say is, you know, more and more we're hearing a lot of people thank their mothers for all their work that they do, all their encouragement and tender love and care and unconditional love that they give to their children. And, um, I guess, you know, it's not Mother's Day, and I know I already thank my mom on Mother's Day, but actually maybe this is for all the other mothers out there. So now I know what I'm supposed to talk about. Yeah. There are a lot of mothers who will go that extra mile to make sure that their child has something. Something. So they know that their child is special. And um, encourage it in whatever way they can. Now I'm running for president of the United States, so I'll focus on that. And recently I went to get a pizza at Pizza Hut just a few days ago. And there was a mother with a car full of kids 
and she had ordered a pizza from Pizza Hut and was there to pick it up. But her bank card wasn't working. And uh, I, um, I picked up my pizza and I went out and she had been in front of me in line so I, that's how I discovered that her bank card wasn't working. And then I was thinking, you know, coronavirus, and maybe maybe she doesn't have the funds to cover the meal. So I um, I wanted to see if the store next door had some wine. I was told by the people there that they did. So I went to because yeah, I was I wanted a bottle of wine, and um, I like wine. And uh, and I went next door, and unfortunately, they did not have it. But upon my return to the car, the lady was still parked there with her kids in her car. And she was clearly trying to contact somebody on her mobile phone or, I don't know, she had something she was trying to do. Um, somebody she was trying to contact. So I walked around and, you know, because she was still there, I realized that, you know, maybe, maybe she didn't have the money to, to get the pizza. So I uh, walked around to the car and I said, you know, do you need some help? Do you have the money to get the pizza? And she gave me, uh, you know, she didn't answer directly, but she gave me the impression, you know, that she didn't have the money to get that pizza. And I looked in the car and I saw the kids there and I thought, you know, this isn't right. So I went back in with her to the Pizza Hut and I bought her the pizzas. Now I'm telling you this because this is wrong. A mother should never have to go without feeding her kids and herself for that matter because they don't have money. A mother should never not have money. It's not fair. It's not moral. And we are the United States of America. This shouldn't be happening. The efforts that our mothers go through for us in the past and the ones who are just being moms now, new moms now, it's the last thing you need to do is worrying about whether you're going to be able to feed your kids or not. Now, I don't care that we have this coronavirus going on. We have people in Congress who are collecting large salaries. And you can be sure that their kids are fed. But when an average American doesn't have money to buy a pizza for her children and for herself, that's a problem. So I am thankful that I always had money to take care of my family in times of good times and times of bad times. And I am thankful that I even have enough that I could help that lady because she really needed it. And perhaps if there are other people out there, if you can help people too, that would be great. We're in this together, but it's not united for some, it's united for all. And, you know, mothering is hard enough but when you add the added burden of not having money to pay for food, 
It's difficult to be a mom. The kind of mom you probably wanted to be. So, thank you to all the moms out there who are doing everything they can for their children and their families. And I'm trying to, to become president so that that doesn't happen to you. That's why we need mother's pay. Because no mother should not have money to buy food. So, I am reminded now of this reading that I like so much from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And it's called, it's about being success, but it's also about a way of life. To laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children. To earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends. To appreciate beauty and to find the best in others. To leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition. To know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived, this is to have succeeded. Mother's pay. It's time for that. So now, the woman I'm going to talk to you about today is Clara Barton. There we go. Clara Barton was born December 25th, 1821, near Oxford, Massachusetts. She taught school before moving to Washington, D.C. to work for the U.S. government. Although not a nurse, she cared for the wounded during the Civil War. After the war, she formed a bureau which identified thousands of soldiers missing in action and buried at the Andersonville, Georgia National Cemetery. At the age of 91, still active in Red Cross work, she died on April 20th 1912, on April 12th, 1912, in Glen o Echo, Maryland. And um, she's the founder of the American Red Cross in 1881, the supervisor of nurses for the Union Army of St. James during the Civil War called the Angel of the Battlefield for her Civil War nursing work. <coughs> Excuse me. Expanded Red Cross work to include help, helping those in need during natural disaster. Okay, so that's, that's it, that's everything. Uh, the song of the day is by John Lennon. It's called Woman. So um, thank you, all you moms out there, for all your strength and dedication. You are amazing, amazing, and keep up the good work. I hope that I can help you in the future. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.